Standing on the start line, you can definitely feel the nerves. The guy saying, everybody say whoop like. Everybody starts to go up the on-ramp onto the freeway that takes you up past Hospital Bend. Then you cruise down the other side, then Weinberg Hill hits you. And this is where the crowd starts coming in and you start climbing Edinburgh Drive. You're kind of thinking, why the hell have I done this? It's definitely the first climb that's going to taste the legs. The reward of hanging in is a free ride for the full length of the Blue Route. Quite a lack of vibe once you start getting through to Cork Bay. You smell that braai at six o'clock in the morning. That's so cool and you, you hear the bands out playing. So many people next to the road. I found time to stop and have a little Boerewoord roll on the way. As you come into Simonstown, hit Jubilee Square and after that is a long roll all the way through to the base of Smitswinkel. Essentially the top of Smits is halfway. Very important for the cycle tourists to take in the views. Look, it's a beautiful day. It's the day the bicycle rules. And you get a tailwind down past Misty Cliffs. Very fast descent down into Ocean View. Everybody's having cries, having fun. It's like a party. All along the route, there's people like supporting you. Random weird people <laughs> just screaming for you. They don't even know you. So you really like feel a lot of love from just strangers, complete strangers. Up through to Nerdhook, a long climb to the foot of Little Chappies, and then you get onto the main Chappies climb itself. You look left, and then you see the ocean. The scenes is breathtaking, you know. That's always a real special part of the ride. You've got these long drop cliffs, you've got the ocean below you. The descent down into Hart Bay is super fast. You will be inundated with beer offers, braai offers, you know you've got one last big hill which is Seikobosi. That for me is the crunch point. If you hear the crowds singing Seikobosi up the hill, it gives you that little bit of extra motivation. It basically feels like you're going up Alpe d'Huez in the Tour de France because it's completely packed with spectators. You've got the music on the hill and the people cheering. You can feel now that uh, you're almost at the end. There's a sharp little climb up to Maiden's Cove. By the time they get here, you're really in the home straight. It's about five k's to the finish line from here. You've come through Camps Bay, Clifton, Sea Point, and now you've hit this line and the, the noise, the people. And then you basically just cruise to the finish line on Victoria Road and have the beautiful beachfront. It's a vibe, it's a sense of accomplishment. You go and fetch your medal, it's really an amazing, amazing feeling. <laughs>